American comedian and TV host Bill Maher says Prince Harry and Meghan Markle want it both ways. Mr. Maher said he admired the Duke of Sussex for serving in Afghanistan, but Prince Harry and Meghan are ridiculous after that. You can't be these people were so mean to us and poor us, and we don't want all this attention and then let me write a book about how much we don't want attention, he told Sky News Australia host Piers Morgan. They just strike me creatures of that generation, you know, you're just fragile. You're complaining about your hard life, and you're so privileged, it's just so weird. US talk show host has branded Prince Harry and Meghan Markle ridiculous for wanting it both ways, calling them creatures of the younger generation. The Sussexes' various media pursuits since stepping down from royal duties have divided public opinion with critics alleging that the couple have dined out on their titles while trashing the royal family. Popular talk show host Bill Maher joined Piers Morgan on Talk TV for a wide-ranging interview, which included a segment on the Duke and Duchess. While Maher praised Harry for his military service, he expressed frustration at the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's ongoing remarks about the royal family. He said, anybody who's had military service, I can only criticize so much because I haven't, and there's nothing that compares to military service. But he then said, they're ridiculous after that, they want it both ways. You know, you can't be oh these people were so mean to us and poor us and we don't want all this attention and then let me write a book about how much we don't want attention. Piers Morgan then referenced the South Park parody of the Sussex Royals, where they were skewered for their claims of wanting privacy. Ma then added, they just strike me as creatures of that generation, you know? You're just fragile, just take a hint from the Queen, the recently departed Queen. You're complaining about your hard life and you're so privileged, it's just so weird. Since stepping down from full-time royal duties in March 2020, Meghan and Harry have struck multi-million pound deals with Netflix and Spotify. The Duke has also made multiple appearances on US TV, and released his memoir Spare, which contained bruising revelations about the royals back in the UK but at the start of April, royal expert Charles Ray told Talk TV, both Harry and Meghan got an awful lot of support from America when it all happened, when Megxit happened. But that support has been dwindling quite a lot just recently. I'm pretty sure that Americans do not view Harry and Meghan as the golden couple that they once were. Meanwhile, Harry is confirmed to be attending King Charles's coronation next month, while Meghan will stay at home with Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet. Announcing Harry's attendance, Buckingham Palace said, Buckingham Palace is pleased to confirm that the Duke of Sussex will attend the coronation service at Westminster Abbey on 6 May. The Duchess of Sussex will remain in California with Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet. While his attendance is confirmed, it is unclear the role he will play in proceedings. attending King Charles's coronation next month, while Meghan will stay at home with Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet. Announcing Harry's attendance, Buckingham Palace said, Buckingham Palace is pleased to confirm that the Duke of Sussex will attend the coronation service at Westminster Abbey on 6 May. The Duchess of Sussex will remain in California with Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet. While his attendance is confirmed, it is unclear the role he will play in proceedings.